inch of air. Or if you look at it, one every size one square inch. Now I'm going to place it on Andrew's hand. Now approximately we're at sea level. And at that point, approximately 14.7 pounds of force, pounds of air pressure, is pushing down in his hand. Let's say I put it all over his body. It's about seven and a half tons of force pushing down. You put your hand down. Why do you think Andrew's not being crushed right now? They're actually, they are all over his body. Think about what's inside of us. What's inside of us, just name it. Air's inside of us, that's exactly right. Things, more things. Water's inside of us. Bones are inside of us. Blood. Food's inside of us, we eat it, yes. And last one? Lungs. And all of those things. Okay, last one? Organs, all of those. Now all of those things are actually pushing out too. So let's say there's seven and a half, seven and a half uh, pounds of force pushing down on Andrew. There's actually seven and a half pounds of force pushing out with his organs and all of his things. So that's why Andrew can move freely because it's equalizing the pressure. Now let's do another experiment to really show how strong air pressure can be. Here I have our Magnum Bird's hemispheres. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them one on top of the other. Now, do you think it's going to be easy or hard to take this off? Hard. It's going to be hard? Well, let's try that. Andrew, would you like to take the top off? Take the top off. It was pretty easy, right? Why was it so easy? What was already between the hemispheres? I'm capturing, I'm capturing air. And like we said before, there's things inside of us pushing out. Now, when I'm catching air, there's air pushing outside as well as air pushing inside. So that's why we can move freely, just as we do. What do you think is going to happen if I take all the, or most of the air out? Any guesses? It's going to blow. It's going to what? Blow away. It's going to blow away. I don't think it's going to blow away. Let's try it out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking all the air out, or most of it. Now, Magdeburg's hemispheres were actually created by the mayor of Magdeburg, Germany, and that's where it coined its name. Oh, that didn't work. Let me try that one more time. All right. Now, I've taken most of the air out of this. Now, who thinks it's going to be easy to take off? Who thinks it's going to be hard? All right, let's try it out. Ready? Ready? Pull on it. Can, it, can, you, can you take it off? You can't take it off. So what did I do? What did I just do with this? I took most of the air out. So what's not inside pushing out? Air is not inside pushing out, and that's why it's so difficult. So there's approximately 750 pounds of force pushing down on this, but there's not 750 pounds of force pushing out, and that's why it's so hard to pull apart. Now what can we do to make it easier? Put the air back inside exactly. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to listen. Ready? Did you hear that? Now would you like to take it off? And it's easy again. Isn't that cool? Everyone, Andrew, a round of applause. You did great. Awesome job, Andrew.